Hot, dry weather is plaguing parts of the country, with parched ground in the high plains ravaging wheat production, while a wet winter has failed to prevent summer wildfires in the west. Areas of moderate to extreme drought expanded across eastern Montana and the Dakotas this week. More than half of the winter wheat crop in South Dakota is rated poor to very poor. USDA Chief Sonny Perdue recently authorized emergency grazing on grasslands enrolled in the Conservation Reserve Program in Montana and the Dakotas. The order also provides farmers and ranchers within 150 miles of those heat-damaged counties to take advantage of the disaster directive. Federal officials have expanded the reach of the emergency order and, starting on Saturday of this week, will allow CRP contract holders to donate their hay to livestock producers in drought-stricken regions of South Dakota. In the West, nearly 300 square miles of rangeland have become home to 1,500 firefighters battling grass fires. A half dozen blazes in northern Nevada and California have been sparked by the recent growth of cheat grass, brought on by plentiful winter moisture. California officials said ample snowfall helped end five years of drought and promoted thick spring blooms of vegetation that were dried by the summer heat, creating a ready fuel source for unpredictable wildfires. The danger has been coupled with tender dry forest conditions that have set the stage for the recent devastation. There's a lot of dead and dying slash, which allows the fire to spread rapidly. What we have here is a backing fire that is burning down with very low intensity. It's highly susceptible to changes in humidity like we're seeing when the marine layer moves in. So we would like to get in there and stop it. The National Interagency Fire Center's four-month outlook shows elevated wildfire danger in the High Plains and the Southwest. However, with cooler conditions in the forecast, fire crews are expected to receive a welcome break. For Market to Market, I'm John Torpy.